Hey guys, this is Max with another review from Pure Power Solar, and today we're looking at the Yeti 3000X from Goal Zero. So first we're going to go ahead and get into it, and first off we're going to look at what stands out from this solar generator over its predecessor, the Yeti 3000 Lithium. So first off, this is what it looks like here. Let's go and get a better view. First off, we have a better inverter, which equals more power. We have the Yeti application, which only applies to Goal Zero models of solar generators that are pretty high end in terms of power. Then we have the MPPT charge controller, which is pretty new for Goal Zero, considering that it's pre-installed in the system. And then we have the increased solar input, which is drastically or pretty much uh, a pretty nice increase compared to the 3000 lithium. So let's go ahead and get into it. So comparing to, well, before that, let's go ahead and, well, if you like my videos and, um, or if you want to see this in article format, I actually have a good comparison between the uh, Point Zero Energy Titan and the Energy Flex, which are both pretty competitive solar generators in this uh, field of high powered solar generators. Go ahead and click the link below as well as subscribe, like, and comment. Comment if you have anything to say about this. If you have it or if you have any thoughts about it, let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more videos along these lines. I talk a lot about solar panels, solar generators, and basically off-grid equipment. And that is that. So first things first, let's get into the 3000X versus the 3000 Lithium. Right here you see the 3000X on the right, and then on the left is the 3000 Lithium. So what's the difference? So for the new model, the X, we have a higher solar input and that is capped at 600 watts. And that's a pretty nice increase considering that the 3000 lithium was just, I believe it was around 360 watts of solar that you could put in the 3000 lithium. So now you can hook it up and get 600 watts of power. And also you can get up to 660 watts of power if you connect it also um, I believe it has to be through the um, USB PD port, considering that the AC port has a lot more energy it puts into it. So you can get up to 660 watts of solar input to maximize the charging. So next here we have the stronger inverter, which I mentioned earlier. It's at 2,000 watts of continuous power, 3,500 watts of surge. Now that's 500 uh, more than the 3,000 lithium. So the 3000 lithium had 1500 watts of continuous, 3000 watts of surge, which is very high, but uh, the 3000X continued to increase that to a nice rate right there. Next, we have the MPPT charger, which is included with the 3000X. Now this came separate and you had to buy it uh, separately with the 3000 lithium. It's a hundred dollar option. And so it, it's a nice addition and it allows for, uh, Goal Zero said 30% more efficient charging with their own solar panels. That's the Nomad or the Boulder series solar panels. However, I, it's a guarantee that you'll have a faster charging compared to the 3000 lithium with a third party solar panel. Next here we have a wall charging uh, reduction. So the 3000 lithium had a charge time of 25 hours roughly with uh, the standard AC charger. Now with the 3000 X, you have a 14 hour charge time from zero to full with its high power battery, which is roughly the same 3000 and some change watt hours of battery, which is a very drastic improvement, which is excellent. So next here, we'll get into who's it for. So first off, who's it for? And first off, it's home backup. That's the first thing that I personally see as uh, what most of you guys, most of the audience is using this for. Uh, considering it's such a large solar generator, it's around 65 to 70 pounds. So it's going to be a large solar generator and it comes with a roll cart, but I, I consider that to be the majority of people who are getting this. However, it's also useful for people who possibly have an off-grid cabin or some area where they don't have power, maybe a storage unit or, or something like that. Next, we have RV use. 
So it is very useful for someone in an RV. You can get portable power. You can power a microwave. You can power several things with this uh, unit. Next, we have tailgates. It's just another idea that I have for people who could use this. A lot of tailgates, sometimes they use gas generators, which tend to be pretty loud. Um, it, this generator doesn't have quite as much power as something like a gas generator, but it does have a significant amount of power that could power electric uh, grills or stovetops and other items like speakers or whatever you use in a tailgate. And those are just some examples of who it could be for. And lastly, we have just a reliable backup for anyone who needs portable power on the go. And that's that. So now we'll get into the pricing. So the pricing here is $3,200 retail. So you can find that on Goal Zero's website, and I'm sure several other providers will have that, like REI and other uh, storefronts like that. So it's $200 more than the 3000 lithium currently. And I would highly suggest getting the 3000X over that because if you get the 3000 lithium, you have to pay $100 to get an MPPT charge controller. So you're, that's at 3100 and $100 more will get you a, a better inverter uh, and several other things along with that, which we'll get into later on. Next, we have the roll cart, which comes included. And as you can see here, right in front of my face, we have a telescoping handle like a suitcase. And then we also have a nice frame right there which is just a basic roll cart and will help you lug it around since it's very heavy. Um, next, we have treaded wheels along uh, with the roll cart, so you can put it on some decent terrain um, and it's not going to only be useful for hard surfaces. And lastly, we have the Yeti app, which as you can see by the arrow here, we have someone using the Yeti app and it basically tells you the charge uh, of your generator. So you have the battery life left and then on the bottom of that picture of the person holding the phone, you could see you could turn on ports. So if you want the AC port on to power a fridge or something like that, you can do that by the touch of your phone. Obviously, you need to be connected to Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi and the power goes out, that's not going to be useful. But if you're using it just for standard use and you want to power something and take some money off of the bill, you would use this app to turn on the system and it will power whatever you need. And then this next picture here right in front of me is how you turn it on. So this guy's putting his finger on the top underneath that little uh, latch. And that's how you connect your device to the actual um, generator. And that's what allows you to find different readings on um, what data you've used. So uh, what I mean here is how, what kind of battery you've been using over the past few weeks. This is a new thing coming out with Go Zero. Um, by the time of this video, it might be out already, but um, it allows you to do a data track how, what kind of power usage you've been having over the past weeks or possibly months. And then you could use your generator according to how you used it in the past, which allows for better efficiency. Next here, we'll get into the solar panels that I recommend, but also I'll go over the Goal Zero panel. And um, I personally recommend the Boulder 200. Now it's an expensive panel. I believe it's $200. This is the briefcase model, which means it can fold. It's a very well-made uh, panel. But what Goal Zero said is that the Yeti 3000X and the MPPT charge controller allows for a 30% uh, up to a 30% increase in charge efficiency with a solar panel. So you're getting more power from the sun um, but this would also apply, not 30% necessarily, but it would definitely apply to third-party panels. And third-party panels are much cheaper, and I found a very cheap model. This also came from Will Pross's channel. He reviewed this Rich Solar Polycrystalline panel on his channel. You can go and check that out. But it's a very inexpensive model. You can pair a bunch of these together because you can have up to 600 watts of solar, and you can get a very... Uh, affordable solar uh, charge. Now, this certain panel, the Rich Solar Polycrystalline, is not as portable as portable, excuse me, as the Boulder 200, but it still is very nice and it's a lot less expensive. And uh, in addition, what you need to connect with the third-party panel is an MC4 to Anderson cable. You need that so you can connect it directly to the Goal Zero unit. So you'll need that uh, MC4 to Anderson cable. But uh, and the panel, 
but that is all you need and it's a lot less expensive. But if you're looking for high quality and a guarantee that it's gonna work, no problem, then the Bowler 200 is probably your route. And yeah, you got the icon right there, it's more expensive. All right, and then that's all I have for you guys. I have a lot in my article below. Um, I'll go back to this. Um, in the description below, what I do is I just compare it right uh, on, in a table format with the different stats and data uh, in the article. So if you're looking for a direct look at um, exactly like what to look for in terms of comparison, go ahead and check that out. I compare it to several other solar generators and subscribe, like, and comment. What do you think I can improve on? What do you like about this generator specifically? Let me know in the comments. Let's start a conversation and I will see you in the next video.